Associate Director of Impact at Acumen. Um, I'm delighted to be here today to talk to you guys, uh, give you a bit of a status update on where we're at with lean data and our approach to impact measurement. Um, I joined Acumen earlier this year after working for many years in impact measurement and specifically in understanding impact in the energy access space for the last few years. For me, joining Acumen was about keeping the momentum and all of this information and learning at an organization where we have a real chance to change the way that we use information and data to inform investment decisions and most effectively deploy our capital to um, tackle poverty. Um, so it's been a really exciting time um, over the last year, uh, focusing in on how we use lean data, our approach to impact measurement, um, and building on what we've learned to really understand how we can push our work further. So just to set the scene quickly, why do we care about impact? Well, we want to contribute to creating positive change in people's lives and give those who have less than us more choice and opportunity. Why do we care about measuring impact? Well, if we care about impact, we care if we're achieving it and understanding or learning ways that we might be able to improve on that. So we, ha we can't do any of that without talking to the customers and those that we're trying to reach and improve their lives. So for, sorry. Um, for the past few years, you've heard, and even this morning, heard from Sachin, Sasha, Jacqueline, and Carlisle on what we've been doing with Lean Data. Um, for the, over the la since we started Lean Data, since the beginning, we've um, conducted Lean Data projects with over 30 of our investee companies, talking to over 20,000 of their customers. What it's really helped us understand for the first time is where our investments are working, where they're not working, and understanding in which sectors we can really reach those in poverty. So this slide shows quite a bit of data, but it shows in each of our different sectors um, the proportion of our company's customers who are living below the poverty line. So you can see on the far left in our energy portfolio, and uh, Jacqueline mentioned earlier this morning, is one of our um, opportunities to really reach lower income households. 57% um, of our um, companies who we've done lean data projects with their customers are living below $2.50 per person per day. And in agriculture, 68%, and then you can see the other sectors alongside. Um, for, for our future portfolio, all of this learning is helping us understand and inform our investment decisions, um, our new energy investing strategy. Um, we, we've used a lot of our learning from lean data, particularly, um, again, as Jacqueline mentioned, um, <coughs> thinking about learning how companies who uh, want to reach lower income households for um, pushing down uptake costs um, and de-risking investment, um, investing in companies that are looking at enabling functions like pay as you go or payment and installments means we really can reach lower income households. For our future, for um, our companies, we're getting a more complete Sorry, I keep pressing the wrong button. We're getting a more complete picture of the impact that our companies are having. This slide's a bit full on, but it's more to give you a sense of how um, we're learning much more at each company level on the kind of impact that, that each company is having. And what's really exciting is that the impact is essentially synonymous with um, that customer value proposition. So what we're really seeing is that our companies are engaging with this information, really excited about the Lean Data Project because they're understanding how they can use it to improve their services, um, offer new products to their customers and better interact with them. So as an example, Investee Devaji, who are a microgrid company in um, rural Tanzania, we're working, the impact team are working alongside their team to equip them to reach out to their customers at different points on the customer journey to better understand who they are, how they're using their services, and how they could deliver better. And for a company's customers, we're ensuring their voice is in the room when we're making our investment decisions. After all, we can sometimes forget that all these numbers are actually about people. So I just want to share one of my favorite quotations um, from a customer, a Devaji customer in Tanzania. So John Vitus um, says, the service has changed our house a lot because now everyone is very happy because we have enough lights, more than kerosene lights that we were using before. So it's often this information that gives us much richer information into how our customers are using their products and services and what value it brings for their life. So you've talk, heard us talk about our three dimensions of impact, um, impact measurement. Breadth, how many people we're reaching. Depth, 
meaningful change in people's lives and poverty, what percentage of our customer base are living below the poverty line. We're pretty confident that we've cracked the code on how to measure breadth consistently and accurately. And for um, poverty, we've really zoom, zo zoomed in um, on how we're measuring and defining somebody's poverty status. So we're the first impact fund that's really able to talk about the poverty status of our investments. In fact, there are other impact funds in the sector that are coming to us, and we're delivering lean data projects for um, the UK government's Department for International Development and the Midyar Network, two of the biggest and most credible funds around. But there is more that we can do, and we want to focus in on depth. This is where we really need to crack the code to understand how and where impact is happening. So right now, we're developing sector-specific lean data products, so we can zone in for each sector on what the specific impacts are for our customers. We're starting with energy, and um, in the energy space, the Global Off-Grid Lighting Association, GOGLA, is the leading body um, that works on scaling off-grid energy solutions. Uh, for the last few years, I've chaired a working group at GOGLA and developed, led the development of a set of impact metrics that the sector's using to more credibly and confidently talk about impact. So we're aligning with these indicators alongside the Acumen's standard ones that we've been working on to really dive deeper into our whole energy, energy portfolio. We'll use this learning as well to inform and to improve the, the existing metrics, as well as using it as an opportunity to benchmark, to aggregate, and to compare, as well as share learning across the sector. Where will this all lead? Well, we think that if we can build the tools to really crack, crack measuring depth of impact and value to customers in the energy sector, we can do it on all, all of the other ones as well. So aligning with industry or sector indicators in agriculture, health, education, and beyond. For our entrepreneurs, they'll get better insights into who their customers are, and therefore that will enable them to scale and grow and reach more people. For Acumen, it's changing the way we do business because it's informing how we invest and use our finite resources to tackle poverty most effectively. And for the sector, because we're demonstrating the impact measurement is doable, it's achievable, and it's useful. We're helping to lead the way in how information can really be used to inform how we deploy our capital most effectively. So we're so pleased to have you in the room with us to share where we're at, um, and we look forward to keeping you updated as we use all of this information and data to make Acumen better, reach more people, and transform more lives.